Well, it's been a while. And yes, we are back up here in the home gym. I have my partner here with me, Shug. And I've made a purchase. And as you can tell, I've got cardio. I've got a little weight bench here. I've got an elliptical. And now it's time for a different type of fitness. <laughs> yes, I have bought a 70 pound heavy bag. Was I afraid that I couldn't pack this out of Walmart? Yes. I picked it up, I immediately started sweating, and I thought, how embarrassing would this be if I can't carry my equipment out of the store? I managed. And now let's, let's hang this beast. <laughs> let's go grab some tools. All right, so this comes with a heavy bag hanger, which is basically you put two lag bolts in the roof truss and the 70 pound advanced heavy bag. Now this is from Benham. It was under $90. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but it was under $90. Let's open it up and see what we've got here. This was definitely an impulse purchase. I went in for something totally different. Realized they were out. And I saw this and it was actually cheaper than what I went in for. So I thought, I thought let's not waste a trip. All right. Venom classic boxing bag. So we've got the hanger, a spring clip, a swivel, a D-ring, and a spring clip. So there's the instructions. And it does have a very long chain with it too. I don't think we'll need all the chain, but I'm glad we've got it. And here's the hanger. I'm assuming we'll have to put these lag bolts directly into the joists. Instructions for mounting. If you need the instructions, you basically find you a stud finder, find the roof joists, and attach this directly to the joist. You definitely do not want to put this just anywhere in your ceiling because 70 pounds is heavy and it's going to be swinging. If you do this, please be safe. Um, fairly decent lag bolts. Fairly decent. They also come with these. For some reason, if you do want to put them in drywall, there's some anchors. All right. Let's get this party started. All right. 
how do you find a stud? Hear that tone? Yep. Same place. So we verified that is where this thinks the stud is. Now, I'm doing this the super easy way. I've got a little impact, an adapter. I found a 13 millimeter socket and 13 millimeter fits these lag bolts perfect. So, the easy way. <laughs> so now I line this up with that stud in the rafters or rafter and I go up and secure it. I wonder how, oh yeah, when you overlap. A lot of, a lot of head to grip on too, so we're in good shape. All right, I am going to go this way. Thirteen may not be the perfect fit that I think it is, but that's what I'm using. These are not self tapping. <laughs> so I will need to drill a pilot hole. As you see, not self tapping. So let me go get a drill bit. Be right back. All right, I'm back. I went and got my little drill belt set. It is the cheap Harbor Freight Warrior pack. And I'm going to guess, um, let's see. What I'm doing is I'm just comparing the thickness of the bolt, the lag bolt to the drill bit. I'm gonna guess a quarter inch. Cause they're fairly common. If I wanted to play it safe, which I might, I don't know how common it is, but a 732nd may be better. I'm guessing. I have no idea. 
So I'm gonna use a seven 30 seconds bit. That way I got a little bit of overhang. I don't know if I'm doing that right, but that's what I'm gonna use. Load my drill up with my battery. You've seen this drill in a previous video, another impulse purchase. All right, let's drill some pilot holes. That was easy. Use this as a template since it's what I'm hanging. Five seconds can save a lot of time. Not perfectly square, but for what I'm doing, it's beautiful. All right, now, since I'm using this impact, I really have to be careful not to go through my drywall. I have done that before, and it sucks very bad. Now, <laughs> can I get 70 pounds over my head, and not only over my head, but can I have the dexterity to latch this? We're about ready to find out. No editing, no cuts. It's hanging, not super securely, but it's hanging. <laughs> this was my stool I was using. Definitely need some gloves. 70 pounds is solid. Oh, 
Okay, that'll be fun. That will definitely be fun. Didn't take too long, however. Let's be real about this. I had all the tools necessary to fix it. Everything that I needed, I already had. So, and as long as you've got a drill, an impact with socket, 13 millimeter socket, little adapter for your impact to a socket, the impact itself, a drill, and a drill bit. And I used a seven 30 seconds drill bit. It was perfect. You might be able to use bigger or smaller. That's just what I chose. And 15 minutes. Oh. Not sponsored, but that's the adapters I used. They just go in your impact. And then they go into a socket. So you get a set of three quarter, three eighths and half inch. They're a lifesaver, I love them. I've actually got two sets because I thought I lost this one, this pack, but it was underneath my seat in my truck. So now I have two. There, three piece set. So thank you for watching. I now have a heavy boxing bag in my gym that my wife does not know about. She's at work, I'm at home. And we'll leave that be. That's the warrior set. I don't have expensive tools. For what I do in my skill level, Harbor Freight and Walmart and Lowe's do me fine. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, it's free. And if you've ever experienced the Venom 70 pound classic, Venom classic boxing bag, classic heavy bag kit, 70 pounds. That is a very long description. But I like it. I bought it. It was an impulse purchase. <laughs> Thank you for watching till the end. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. <laughs>